Uh, we're back out uh, today uh, and uh, what we have here is the Motion Controller 2. Uh, we remember uh, doing a, a video on how to use the uh, Motion Controller 1 and frankly when they announced the Motion Controller 2 I wasn't really interested. I mean the uh, Motion Controller 1 did whatever I needed to do, but uh, DJI went and surprised all of us. And uh, the new Motion Controller 2 uh, is now compatible with the uh, Mini 3 Pro and the Mavic 3 lineup. So today we're gonna come out and we're gonna test this. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. The only difference that I see is maybe this little uh, toggle here. So they still have the power button on the same side. Uh, they, instead of the brake button that was here on the first one, they have a little uh, toggle here. And then they have the, uh, this orange button here, you double tap to start your drone. And this is also gonna be your pause button or your brake button as you wanna call it. And this button here is going to be very similar to the one on the original. This is going to be your mode button. So you're going to get normal and you're going to get sport mode. Now on the side here, they have added a little scroll wheel. And apparently if you press that in, that's going to bring up the menu in your goggles to change from camera to take photos or video and to change all your settings, your ISO, your shutter speed, etc. And then again, they have the same thing, I think, as the first one here, the uh, record button. And the trigger looks a little bit different because on the original, you only had a trigger to press in. But on this one here, if you go this direction, you're going to be able to back up your drone. Um, with the FPV uh, Vada, uh, I don't think it's necessary to have a backup button. Um, because uh, when you slant your uh, controller any which way, your, your Avad is just going to spin around and you can get away from whatever you got to get away from. But anyways, we've never used this before. This will be our first try. Um, we did have to charge this up and we actually plugged it into our computer and updated the firmware on this through... Uh, the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Series uh, program. And uh, then we actually had to do the same thing for the Mavic 3. Uh, we did uh, hook up the uh, Mavic 3 to uh, the DJI Fly app and I didn't see any, uh, I didn't see any update. And I know that they said all your crafts have to be updated first before you can pair it up with this controller. So uh, when I checked and I seen that the Mavic 3 uh, did not have an update, I plugged it into my computer and I did the update on that through the DJI Assistant 2. And once I had done all that, then I was able to pair up the goggles, pair up the controller, and here we are. So we're gonna do our very first flight and just see what it's like to uh, fly the uh, Mavic 3, anything other than a, an FPV drone. So let's start everything up and, and let's check her out. We're gonna start. Okay, check and make sure the aircraft placed at least five meters from your location, facing away from you. Okay. So we're going to move back here. Okay, we're going to move back here. Put the controller down there. Okay, we'll do next. Okay, now it's explaining just what I explained about the lock button, the mode button. Okay, we do next, and again, it's showing you how to fly forward. Um, if you're curious about how to uh, 
to use the motion controller, please watch my other video uh, that I did on the original motion controller. Okay, we're gonna do next. Okay. And again, they're just showing you how to use the uh, motion controller. This is really cool that they're showing you all of this in the goggles. Okay. 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 And okay. Done. Okay, so let's go into... go down to settings oh it's saying compass interference move away from source of interference okay to start up the Mavic 3 we're supposed to uh, just press the lock button twice now I know on the first motion controller, I had a lot of issues with that. Uh, I had to do it a few times. Let's see if that's improved on the uh, motion controller too. So twice, definitely it's been improved. I just did that twice and uh, everything, it worked great. Now we'll, uh, we'll use this little joystick and we'll take her up. Okay, she seems to be working. Let's fly her out a little bit. There she goes. We're gonna turn her around to us. Okay, we're gonna try the backup. And she's backing up. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's put the goggles on and let's do a little flight. Oh, okay, she is spinning. So while you get your goggles on, you can just hit the lock button once and she'll lock there so that you can move around. So let's get her up. Let's get the goggles on. Okay, now we want to go into record. Okay, so we're in to record. Now I'm not seeing anything on the screen that shows anything as recording. Uh, so let's Okay, let's get out of there. Okay, it's not showing anything recording. Okay, now, now she's showing recording. Okay, so we, uh, Make sure that everything is fitting properly. All right. And away we go. This is very different, very different. You know, the original, uh, the original motion controller was great, but uh, DJI has definitely done uh, some improvement with, uh, 
with the motion controller too. And I'm very, very surprised that they've actually made it uh, compatible with the Mavic series and the uh, Mini 3 Pro. This is really exciting, a really different way to fly. And you know, having that circle in the middle of the screen of your goggles is, uh, is a great idea. You can position yourself very good with that. I'm hoping that my goggles are recording too so that you can see the telemetry. We're just in normal mode. This is our first time using this. We, uh, we just want to see how she's flying. And she's, she's flying pretty good. Okay, we're going to point her up. It's kind of windy today and we've had rain pretty much every day. So we've seen a little break. And speaking of brakes, if you find yourself getting in trouble, that little orange button is now your brake. But uh, if you let your finger off the trigger, uh, she should come to a stop. Uh, we're just gonna let our finger off now. And there she comes to a stop. Now, we're gonna hit the black button and we're gonna change her into sport mode. Okay, now with sport mode, we're not gonna have any obstacle avoidance, so uh, we're gonna have to be careful here. And let's see. And in the goggles there, I've seen many of them that are doing review on this. Uh, you can go into your uh, gain settings and you can uh, change the, uh, the speed of the controller. For now, I don't think I'm going to have a need to do that. Uh, like I said, today is our first time using it, and we, we just want to kind of get a feel for it. It's, uh, it's very cool to kind of fly the Mavic 3 with the motion controller. Very, very different. Now we're about 400 meters away. I'm not sure what kind of distance you can actually get with this. Um, we're at 525 meters. This is about where we go when we uh, fly out this way. Okay, we're gonna get some height up here. And I really like the idea that they have that uh, joystick, you know, especially for landing. I always found it was a little bit uh, cumbersome to try and land with the uh, motion controller one. So it's really happy to see the improvements that they've done with the, uh, with the motion controller two. Not that, that I would be flying all that often, but you know what? On a really sunny day, um, it is great to be able to have the goggles because there's nothing I, I don't like is the uh, glare coming off the screen. You know, I, I usually use the uh, uh, DJI uh, Mini 3 controller with the Mavic 3, but, and I have like a sunshade on it. But you know what, even with the sunshade, I, uh, even with the sunshade, I, uh, I find that uh, you still get glare coming off. Now I noticed there when I started dipping down a little bit lower uh, behind those trees, I started to lose connection. And uh, so that, that worries me a little with the motion controller too. You don't want to get trapped behind a building or anything like that. At least I don't, not for now. Uh, until I uh, use this a little bit more and, and see how she is. 
but yeah, this is definitely a, a different way to fly your Mavic or your Mini 3 uh, Pro. And I will be testing this out with the Mini 3 Pro, but I, uh, I wanted to have a really nice camera today. So I thought the Mavic 3 would be a, a great one to, uh, to test this out with. It is so beautiful. And you know, you can, uh, you can keep it pretty steady. You know, uh, it's going to take some getting used to for most people. Um, one thing I liked about the motion controller and the Avada is especially for new people, um, the motion controller takes care of your uh, yaw and your roll at the same time. You know, when you slant your wrist, you're, it's, oh, oh, it, it veered away there. I don't know why. Okay, I wonder what happened there. I don't know why it veered away. Okay, we're just going to lock her here. All right, we're going to take the goggles off. And let's see if we can land her using this uh, joystick here. guys that's the uh, that's the motion controller 2 with the uh, DJI Mavic 3 uh, I appreciate the watch uh, please like and share and if you have any questions about this please leave it in the comments below all right guys we're having fun with this we'll catch you in the next one